So welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and uh, this might look like your regular Android TV, but what this is is a Raspberry Pi 4. Now if you guys have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that I purchased a couple Raspberry Pis, I have been tinkering, and the, the main reason why I wanted to get this up and running is to install Android TV and eventually see if this can be a viable replacement to your Android TV boxes. So this is an opportunity for you to customize what device you want to install what case you want to install and of course the bonus that this does have google play installed so you can install your application of course you can install third-party apps and everything seems to be working properly to go to my settings let me go to my device preference all right click on about all right you can see the system information right there it is a raspberry pi 4 it is running um android 10 and uh, like i said i was able to install the application i installed zumo google play services are there in this video i am going to show you how to install android tv on your raspberry pi 4 uh, steps a to z essentially and then in a future video i'll put it up against those other devices test them out do some um, benchmarking and stuff just to see where it stands up so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so if you're new to the channel i do everything tech from your streamer reviews streaming news product reviews unboxings and everything in between hit that subscribe button in the top right smash the notification bell make sure you select all on notification that way you won't miss a video or a giveaway so you'll need a couple things for this setup guys obviously you will need a raspberry pi 4 you'll also need a usb drive for your google play store installation sd card for your android tv image and of course you'll need a computer to install and download the files so i'll leave a link to the website in the description but once you get to the website go to your device raspberry pi 4 and you can just x out of that and what we're looking for is the android tv so these are going to be regular android android 10 android 11 and right here is the os 17.1 equivalent to android tv 10 so i'm going to click on that and we're just going to go down I'm going to go to right here i'm going to go ahead and download it all right just give it a second here start the download And we're just going to pick a link. And we're just going to let it download right here. Now, while that's downloading, guys, you want to go ahead and get the G apps on. This is going to allow us to get the Google Play Store. So, so I'll put a link to the G apps download and um, it's a direct download. So all you need to do with this one is download it, put it on your USB drive and you're all set. So what I like to do is just drag everything to the desktop that I need. The other thing you're going to need is Etcher, and Etcher is basically going to write the image to your SD cards. So the website for that is pretty straightforward. I'll link that as well in the description. It is compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, and uh, they do have a portable version as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the portable version. We have the three files we're going to need. Now, for the G apps, which is right here, all you need to do is copy that to your USB drive, eject your drive, and insert it in your Raspberry Pi. For the actual OS, we're going to need to flash that image to the SD card. So what we're going to do is just select the flash from. We're going to point to the lineage image, guys. So flash from file, we're going to go to the desktop. Here's the image right there. Click on that. All right, we're going to select the target. So the target is going to be our SD card. Uh, mine's right here, 63 gigs. Go ahead and select. And we're just going to go ahead and flash. So this is going to take a couple minutes. So I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. Now, once you're done, eject the SD card and insert it in your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, at first boot, you are going to see uh, this icon right here. Uh, it is going to load. And then what happened for me is, and I'm not sure if this happened to everyone, it went to it went directly to the bluetooth setup and it was searching for bluetooth devices but after a while i just went ahead and push enter or timed out but i was able to get to the lineage setup page now while you're on this page guys uh you don't really need to do much remember that this will be replaced eventually so just go ahead click next click next go through the process uh, accept the agreement select your language and just get the setup completed where you can go ahead and get into the system 
when you first get in you notice you don't have any icons all you see is your apps and option to add to your favorites that's because google play store has not been installed as of yet and that's going to be our next step so to install that you're going to go to your settings you're going to go to device preferences click on about you're going to go all the way to the bottom to build tap on that seven times and it will enable developer options once that's enabled back out to the previous menu. And now when you go back to your about section, you should see developer options at the bottom. Go ahead and click on developer options. And now you wanna enable two settings in here, guys. So the first one is gonna be root access. So go ahead and turn that on. And the next one is gonna be terminal. So scroll down a little bit more, enable terminal, and go back home to your main screen. So once we get home, we're gonna go to our apps. And basically we're just reading from our usb drive so we're going to go ahead and launch terminal we're going to allow and we're going to put in two lines of code right here so first one is just going to be su push enter All right and the next one is i'm typing right here it's going to be r pi 4 dash recovery dot sh all right so Pretty straightforward, I'll leave them on the screen for a little bit longer. Push enter again. And now all we're gonna do is type reboot. Click done or push enter. And the Pi should now reboot. So what we're gonna do from here is just swipe to the right. We're gonna swipe to allow modifications. We're gonna click install. I'm going to go down to the bottom right where it says select storage. So, all right, so here's the internal. Here's my USB drive. Of course, we need the USB. That's where the G apps zip file is, if you guys remember. So select USB, click OK. And now we're going to go ahead and click the file and we're going to swipe to the right, swipe to confirm flash. So this is again going to take a couple minutes. So I'll go ahead and fast forward the video. All right, so installation is all done. What we're gonna do is wipe Dalvik. So go ahead and select that. We're gonna swipe to wipe. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and click in the top left where it says Dalvik wipe complete. Two arrows pointing up and down. Go ahead and click that. So now we're gonna go ahead and select wipe. We're gonna go ahead and swipe to the right. We're gonna go ahead and reboot system. And again, the Pi is going to reboot itself. This is the, basically the last step of the installation process. And if you're prompt to set up a remote, uh, if you don't have one, you can bypass this by pushing enter. Uh, if you have a, a USB device in there, you might be able to just push the back button to get out of it. Now, what you're going to see here is, guys, if you ever set up an Android device, Android TV device, it's going to go through the basic steps. So be able to go ahead and set your location, your time zone, log into your Google account. So I'm not going to go into details. You shouldn't already know how to set up a Google device. It's basic information is going to ask you. And when you're done, this is what it looks like. All right. So here we are in the user interface, guys. I did go ahead and sign into Google. Uh, let me just go to my apps you can see i have the google play store right there and let's try to download an application just to uh, make sure that everything's working properly so i do plan on doing a performance test here in a little bit maybe do a side-by-side -side comparison between let's say the fire stick the chromecast and maybe even the nvidia shield just to see where it stacks up but so you guys know this is raspberry pi 4 i do have the 8 gig model i also uh did put on the argon case and if you guys haven't seen any of those videos i'll go ahead and link the full playlist where you guys can go ahead and check it out so let me install this and have an idea how it should work we just wanted to verify that everything's working properly now one of the common issues that a lot of people are saying that they ran into is, is that the audio will not pass through through HDMI so, so that's something I'll definitely be testing out as well all right so look like that has been fixed let me turn it up a little bit I can hear audio so audio is working fine that's through the HDMI cable I am using a, a USB remote as well so everything's all set up guys uh, for the looks of everything this is smooth as butter um, good thing about the Raspberry Pi is that your SD card is basically your system. So on this one, I'll have the Android TV. I might have Linux. On the other one, I might have something else. So you have a lot of options. This looks very promising so far, very smooth. Glad that they had the HMI audio pass through 
uh, figure it out and uh, drop your comments in the comments. Let me know if there's something specifically you want me to test. I do plan on doing a benchmark network speed test, Wi-Fi speed test, all of that in the next videos. Like I said, for this one, guys, I'm very excited. Uh, just the, the possibilities are endless in the Raspberry Pi. If you guys are new to Raspberry Pi, I did a couple videos from the first unboxing to the initial setup, how to install your operating system. And this is just an extension of that. That's it for this video. Stay tuned. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.